Jesus is going to loose up in here. Y'all a little fire up in there. Yeah. 
Burger King crown will work too. Everyone is great wealth. 
He gave the princess delicious food to eat, the best places to sleep, and the most fun they had ever had. The musicians played their instruments, and everyone sang and danced and drank from cups covered in precious jewels. <laughs> when the party was over, King Ahasuerus held another party for the people of Shushan. For seven days, music echoed through the city, and the people ate and drank until they were full. On the seventh day of the party, when the king was drunk, he sent a message to his beautiful wife, King Queen Vashti. Come and see me and wear your royal crown, he said. Queen <laughs> refused to see the king. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no, she said. This is not right. I will not go. The king flew into a terrible rage. How shall I punish the queen for disobeying me? He shouted. <laughs> The king's wise man <laughs> had an idea. If other women hear what the queen has done, they might treat their husbands badly, they said. Send her away and find another queen to help you rule the kingdom. And the king did just that. Soon, Take her away, fellas. Be <laughs> Anything except for what he got had told her. King 
Hilarious loved Esther more than all the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> She has to come. Cheering. That's got church. She, she had no cheering in the story now. She got cheering already. Elsa got a baby daddy. <laughs> 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 From the hood, South Side, High Park. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm be quiet. <laughs> I 
I would put lots of silver into the royal treasury. King of Hathuera sat high on his throne and listened carefully. Then taking a ring from his finger, he gave it to Haman. Deal with these people as you wish, he said. Haman smiled wickedly. <laughs> the king really gave him permission to do whatever he pleased. He couldn't believe his good luck. Before the king could change his mind, Haman wrote a new law saying that in one year's time, all Hebrews, young and old, women and children, must be killed and their possessions taken. Mm. The law was filled with the king's ring so that no one could change it. Mm. Mm. Now when Mordecai learned about the new law Haman had made, he put on sackcloth and ashes to show the sad and walked through the city crying loudly until he reached the king's gate. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do 
built a wooden structure, she said. Tomorrow, ask the king for permission to hang Mordecai on it. Then, you can go and be happy. Haman rubbed his hands together. What a good idea, he said gleefully. I will do as you say. He had a set of gallows made that very day. That night, the king tossed and turned in his bed at the palace. He could not sleep. At the time, he told his servants to read to them from the king's book of records. When the servant read that Mordecai had saved the king's life, the king asked what reward was given to him for this. Nothing has been done, the servant answered. At that very moment, Haman arrived at the palace to see the king. Before he could say a single word, the king said to him, How should I reward a man that I wish to honor? Haman was full of pride. He believed the king was talking about him. This man is a hero, he said. Dress him in royal robes, put a crown on his head, and take him on horseback through the city. To Haman's surprise, the king said to him, Do this for Mordecai. <laughs> Haman stared at the king in disbelief. He could hardly believe his ears. <laughs> this was not what he had planned at all. Haman had no choice but to obey the king. Grinning his teeth, he dressed Mordecai in fine robes, put a golden crown on his head, and led him on horseback through the street of Chushan. <laughs> First came the followed by fan bearers and a small group of soldiers on foot. Behind them rode Mordecai on the king's finest horse. People lined the streets to see Mordecai. This is the man being honored by the king. Came and shouted to the crowd. The crowd laughed. <laughs>
and came his house and all his possessions to Esther. Beautiful time. Thanks for everybody for coming out for celebrating Purim. Purim is awesome. 
time to celebrate what the Most High did in our ancestors' life. I know some try to say that it wasn't an uh, ordained thing, but anything that the Most High has done in the earth, He wants you to make a memorial about. So we should always celebrate anything that He has done because the Most High, what He does, He set up every feast day as a memorial to what He has done. So we just don't stop with that because in the kingdom, we're going to have some more memorials to what He has done in all of it. With that second exodus, so we should never not celebrate the Most High for the things that He has done in His people life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. All right, so it's time to eat. So we're gonna bless the food. And uh, how we gonna do the service? Okay. Um, if we, we'll, if y'all let us make the children's plate first, we got two sides. You can let's do this. Let's do this first. Let's do the uh, let's do the elders first. Let's honor the elders. Fifty and above. Let's do fifty and above. Let them get their plates first. Fifty and above. Elders and fathers. Fifty. Fifty. Y'all let. What? I got the mothers and the elders. Ain't nobody fifty. I'm not fifty. Ain't nobody fifty. Well, that's she's going to get her respect. She's going to get that plate. No. I understand. And then after that, then the children. So uh, let's pray over the food first. 